Hi all, let's look at another fascinating game. Arazen against Leela in TSEC Season 13, Division 3, Round 5. So Knight F3 from Arazen, Leela plays C5. This is the book given to both. End the book now. So Knight C3, Arazen chooses. G6, E3, Knight F6. And actually this is a very theoretically trodden continuation in Chess Space Livebook, funny enough. So both engines are playing what is very, very popular. Bishop b5, bishop g7, bishop g5, queen b6. So here uh, now we have queen a3. So white is threatening to take and play queen e7 checkmate, just to put that on the board, for example, like this. So the queen and bishop cooperating on e7. Uh, so we have actually f6, so stopping that coordination point. Knight takes, e takes, now bishop takes, very forcing. This has all been seen before until here. A big TN novelty by Erasen with huge brute force behind it. Plays actually, uh, not, not a standard like rook move, but knight e5 check, which breaks open the e7 square. Uh, so at the cost of a piece, f takes, check, check, and now bishop f6. So it seems as though, you know, winning the rook, this is bad news. Now, before getting into leader's continuation, e takes, here it seems two of my strongest engines, Stockfish 9 and Houdini 6, think this might be might have been a way for black to get an advantage um, of more than like, 0.5, a clearer, what called a clear advantage. Um, so there's some very interesting lines here uh, after bishop takes. It depends if white can really get this bishop, then it will have two bishops for a rook, basically. Uh, if we look at this with bishop d7 hitting the queen, rook e8, rook e7, very quiet move, but rook f7 now is on the cards. So this continuation with rook f7, uh, because otherwise, I believe, if, even if the queen was on e5, there's things like rook f5, driving the queen away from supporting the bishop. So the queen lets go of the bishop, say, with queen b3. Uh, black takes, and that opens up the rook, so that's why white would want to do that, to take this pawn. But this position might be a big advantage for white, it seems. Not, not for white, for black, with the bishops, the two bishops against the rook. Pawns doubled this this should be perhaps it does seem to represent one of black's best winning attempts and leader's continuation was real sci-fi to watch absolutely stunning uh huge interest in leader's continuation uh just just to show you one more in this line for a moment uh bishop takes here uh sorry uh, instead of Bishop takes, we have queen takes as an example. Bishop d7, rook e8. We have a sort of similar idea, basically. Uh, where the, well, here, instead of um, two bishops for the rook, black has a big advantage there. Uh, and in this line, also bishop takes e5, is just bishop f5, and then you see that hits the queen. That's, a, that's immediately kind of refuted the bishop takes e5 hitting the queen. Black would obviously be big advantage there, actually. So Queen B7 seems to be the move, and I actually asked about this if, if somehow Leela's the, apparently there's been a time manager concern of, of a tweak, but it, I, apparently it wouldn't have found this anyway, even with uh, more exhaustive uh, thought. So it seems the time management tweak is not responsible for not playing Queen B7. And this might be the case that Leela just isn't good enough to beat, uh, you know, 40 plus core uh, traditional exhaustive search engines at this point in the evolution. And um, yeah, I tried to be positive about uh, this. Uh, and maybe there is some scope for self improvement, even though some people think there isn't. In three months' time, Leela could be a lot stronger because maybe. My brother pointed out it might be analogous to finding prime numbers. So even though the improvement might seem to flatten 
maybe you know once a new like analogous like prime number is found there is a another improvement so maybe it is possible it's likely I would hope that Leela in two months time in division three I hope it starts from division three would find super clinical moves like this because what happened now instead of Queen b7 was e takes d4 man this is a like a fascinating continuation really fascinating Bishop takes uh, on bishop takes d4 queen takes queen takes here this position the two bishops against the rook should should be uh even if white wins that d5 should be uh fine here for black the two bishops are pretty nice here uh so bishop takes h8 i think is the big test c5 b4 another big test very clinical move b4 to try and break up black's pawns uh, so we have c4, queen e5, d3, and it just it looks absolute madness. When we were spectating this, we just thought this is absolute madness. But I managed to predict Leela's idea, which essentially is a stunning idea. It's basically to give up this other rook and essentially go two exchanges down with queen b7 yeah i i saw this queen b7 idea in streams i thought the two connected past pawns and really i was convinced well this is like sci-fi chess these connected past pawns are going to win here even though black is two exchanges down because we've seen that game pattern as well on on fast time control games that they is sometimes sacrificing two exchanges but has winning past pawns but is it the case in this position I mean it would have made my day if this is the case uh, so is it the case Bishop takes b7 I'm probably not giving you much tension about the result of this game it seems as though on the surface you know black would win the brilliancy prize here with this double exchange sack in effect giving up one rook and then the other to be two exchanges down but sometimes the visuals are challenged by clinical precise play uh, I think Luke Machine once said when he was a junior uh, when I was watching him analyze games he used an expression like it all depends on the position and I think that is that encapsulates a lot of what brute force with the, the exhaustive search approach rather represents it's really position sensitive it really all depends on the position the visuals here really all depend on the position can white do anything about these two connected past pawns I like to think in a in a sense that seeing is more important than calculating <laughs> like in Star Wars you know use the force use your the full stretch of your emotions uh, of what you see etc rather than trying to calculate everything but let's see what happens here so the the two connected past pawns seem in some sense very convincing supported by the bishop pair d3 is challenged it's protected and also constrains against b5 the other one is challenged it's protected and now g4 is played which in some sense weakens dark squares potentially which leader pounces on to fix you know to fixing three <coughs> pawns upon me king g2 is played bishop e5 now here it's interesting so h4 h6 is played hg hg and now b5 is played this is not this is a super clinical it all depends type move it really is super clinical if king f3 uh then c2 and then bishop f4 and black will triumph with a big advantage uh it seems yeah sorry just just to put this on the board you might think well well how uh the thing is there's <laughs> uh i i believe that there's a, a, a um yeah how um sorry i think it's i should have prepared this line but bishop b7 check forces this because the king hasn't got any escape squares and then I think we can just take here so this is why sacrificing a rook here doesn't help 
so black is threatening bishop b7 check among other things here so this b5 distorts things with the bishop slightly placed slightly differently because now king f3 uh, is very different indeed uh, because c2 here for example rook d2 bishop f4 there's rook d takes c2 so the point is there's no check is that there's no putting a rook where it's pinned it could just be snapped off and then uh, but here um, yeah it's arguable if black's advantage is enough to win even though technically it might seem yeah it's just it's it's not so clear-cut so anyway in this position d2 is tried rook c2 king g7 and yeah the visuals are take, taken away in other words white sacrifices a rook to get to wipe out the connected pass pawns and now it is getting tricky check king f6 rook d8 rook f8 and it's just very very tricky to win this it seems uh, so we have a5 here that's fixed that's protected that's protected 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 <laughs> a few checks check that's hit check that's attacked that's protected that's attacked that's protected check 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 attacked protected attacked now it's slightly different taking here so giving up g5 that's hits but now the f pawn moves king c4 f5 check and here in fact after f6 uh, rook e7 it's a draw really uh, bishop takes agreed drawn here uh, the bishop is of the wrong color for this a pawn to have a queen so this is just a technical draw the king can always stop the a pawn here yeah uh so and unfortunately this game is representative of several other draws which i'm not sure i will cover on this channel so i just wanted to say i mean this is one of the more interesting examples that brute <laughs> i keep saying brute force the exhaustive search uh, methods especially on like 40 plus core machines is difficult to beat I think that's something that was noticed in the world championship events leader competed earlier prior to this event uh, where they're just incredibly difficult to beat you really need to have uh, super clinical moves early on now maybe I'm speculating I mean if you guys want to analyze Queen b7 yourselves to find out if that really is the best move or you might have much stronger hardware than me then please let me know if you think there was a chance with queen b7 to try and get a winning advantage i think at this level of chess any small inaccuracies might result in um, a draw instead of a win because the resourcefulness is at such a high level pitch it's just incredible so uh yeah a very tough game uh, a resin very very clinical resources found as you expect so the visuals are sometimes not the be all and end all one must humbly admit uh, that's unfortunate for me <laughs> but I hope Leela might find in effect uh, by analogy some extra prime numbers for next time so for TSEC season 14 I'm hoping there will be a lot more wins from Leela especially you know if she starts from division three as well which I hope that'd be really interesting to watch okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much